Uh, uh, Juwan coming off a game uh, like Auburn and then uh, Florida before that, LSU, a lot of ranked teams, big SEC opponents. How tough is it to get up for a team, uh, you know, that's in a lower division and, and frankly hasn't had that good of a record so far? Uh, it's not tough at all. You know, just the next game, <coughs> next opponent that's in our way. You know, we approach every week the same, so it's nothing different. How does it go into the standard that you guys create that that's the way you approach it? Say it again? Well, I mean, you, you talk about the standard a lot. How much does, you know, performing to that standard in this game kind of uh, matter, you know, to, for the, the continuity of the standard, I guess? I mean, it's, it's every week the same for us. You know, we, we prepare for, like, we prepare the same way for every opponent, like the same. Like, there's no different, it doesn't matter who we play. What's been the run defense getting better since that LSU game? The key for your run defense getting better since the LSU game? Your, your front sevens played better against the run? Um, I think it was just based off the uh, the bye week we had. Um, Coming out the bye week, I think we, we approved these last three weeks on our uh, run defense. You know, we just going to keep improving every, uh, every week and just keep uh, practicing hard. Uh, these last couple of weeks. How much hitting is going on in practice? I mean, I know Kirby talked about that today, about keeping you guys sharp, going ones on ones. Is that a big part of it as well, do you think? Oh, yeah, no doubt. We, uh, you know, like going good on good, like that's what, like, helps the team, you know, help, help everyone with their craft and, uh, you know, just try to make everything perfect. You know, even, th even though everything is not perfect, but we just try to keep everything, you know, groomed up. So you said it was during the bye week that you think the run defense improved. So what happened during the bye week that you think helped uh, you just, guys make those changes? We just went to work. You know, we just, we just focused on like what we needed to focus on. We just worked on us. Tay Crowder is a guy who came in and has seen more time at the inside linebacker spot, but he came in as a running back. How have you seen him develop at that position? Man, Tay came a long way. Uh, I can say, honestly, like he's, he worked hard. Like, you know, me and him came in together, you know, he's like my brother, you know, uh, he came in as a running back. And um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for him at running back. But like, once he moved to a uh, linebacker, you know, we, we uh, had to, you know, toughen him up a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, I tell you, man, he's a great player, man. Uh, um, he's very athletic and he, he, he has grown so much. How do you guys know who, who do you find out who starts? I mean, is there a depth chart that's always posted, or when does when does the lineup come out? Because I know there's been a lot of competition at a lot of positions. <laughs> when do you guys find out who starts, and how, is there a depth chart that you can keep up with throughout the week? Uh, not really. It just it just it's just based on what the coaches uh, feel like. You know, um, what's the best situation? When do you see the starting lineup? When do you find out if you're going to start the game or not? Uh, we probably at, like towards like before the game, you know. <laughs> Once we're in the locker room, they'd be like, "Oh, these the guys you're rolling with first. Game day, you mean? Yeah, game day. Yeah, game day. Yeah. Is there is 